If you have an idea for a plastic product, ever wondered how to bring it to life? The answer isn't magic. Plastic prototyping techniques can help turn your concepts and visions into real tangible prototypes in the shortest time. Welcome. Today, we'll be exploring the top four plastic prototyping techniques. Method one, injection molding for final prototyping. This technique involves injecting molten plastic into a meticulously designed mold, resulting in the creation of a faithful replica of the intended design. Injection molding is an ideal method for creating prototypes that require functional testing and closely mimic the final product. When discussing injection molding drawbacks, the primary challenge revolves around tooling creation. The associated tooling costs can be substantial, making it a significant consideration for any prototyping project. Common Plastics for Injection Molding Injection molding works with a lot of plastics, but the following materials are the most common in the industry. ABS, known for its durability and versatility. Polycarbonate, offering exceptional impact resistance. Polypropylene, a lightweight option with remarkable chemical resistance. Method 2. 3D Printing for Rapid Prototyping 3D printing is an additive technique that nearly embodies the concept of magic, essentially materializing any desired object by meticulously adding one layer upon another. This approach boasts rapidity and customization. Presently, 3D printing has advanced to encompass the production of plastic, metal, and ceramic parts, showcasing its expanding range of applications. Let's explore the top three plastic 3D printing technologies. FDM, SLS, and SLA used deposition modeling. FDM stands as the foremost prevalent method within the realm of 3D printing, extensively employed for plastic prototype fabrication. This process involves the controlled melting of a thermoplastic material, followed by precise extrusion to achieve a meticulous layer-by-layer -layer deposition of filament. Selective laser sintering, SLS, operates through the fusion of powdered material, metallic or non-metallic powder. This intricate process hinges on the utilization of a potent laser that facilitates the consolidation of the model by selectively fusing the powdered substance's solid segments. This sophisticated technique finds application across diverse prototyping needs, spanning domains such as dentistry, medical, and the production of commonplace consumer components. SLA, stereolithography, hinges on the utilization of liquid resin in tandem with UV light to achieve swift fabrication of intricately detailed designs. Nonetheless, it's important to note that SLA's compatibility is not universal across all polymer types. Rather, its effectiveness is restricted solely to photopolymer resins, thus imposing constraints on its potential applications. 3D printing is suitable for rapid prototyping, but it has some drawbacks to consider. It can be time-consuming, especially for larger and complex objects. Surface finish might be rough, requiring post-processing. Layer-by-layer -layer construction can lead to weaker interlayer adhesion and less structural robustness compared to traditional methods. Many 3D printers have size limitations, possibly requiring specialized equipment or assembly for larger objects. Common plastics for 3D printing, PLA, a biodegradable and user-friendly option, ABS, known for enhanced sturdiness and impact resistance. Nylon, valued for its durability and flexibility. Method 3. CNC Machining for Precision Prototyping CNC machining presents a viable and rapid method for fabricating plastic prototypes, particularly when precision is of the utmost importance. It differs from 3D printing as it employs a subtractive process involving the removal of material from a solid piece to achieve the desired shape. Consequently, it has limitations in producing plastic prototypes with intricate geometries, such as those featuring hollow structures, multiple contours, and sharp corners due to constraints imposed by the cutting tool's range of motion. Common plastics for CNC machining. Acrylic, transparent, and easy to machine. Delrin, boasting low friction and high wear resistance. HDPE, a lightweight and corrosion-resistant choice. Method 4. Vacuum casting for small batch prototyping. When multiple prototypes are essential for design refinement, 
vacuum casting steps in. A silicone mold of a master pattern creates the blueprint for liquid plastic replicas. This method is perfect for small batch production and the creation of fine detail prototypes. The most significant issue with vacuum casting is the material limitation. The process only functions with a small number of materials and is constrained by mechanical properties and other characteristics. Common plastics for vacuum casting, polyurethane, capturing details and offering flexibility, silicone rubber, ideal for complex and intricate parts. Injection molding is suitable for final stage prototyping, but entails higher initial tooling costs. 3D printing offers affordability for rapid iterations, but may not be appropriate for prototypes that require functionality testing. CNC machining is ideal for precision prototyping, but might not be suitable for designs with complex geometries. Vacuum casting is well suited for fine detail prototyping when required, as well as for producing small batches. When selecting from these prototyping technologies for your plastic prototyping project, you should base your decision on the intended purpose of the prototype and consider the capabilities of each prototyping technology. If you have any questions about your plastic prototype project, please don't hesitate to contact Rapid Direct. We provide comprehensive manufacturing solutions and professional technical support, all in one place. Remember to like and subscribe for more insight videos from Rapid Direct.